Shatner Sarkis's Prince William for slamming space tourism as Duke missed the boat to fulfill grasp. Star Trek's William Shatner has hit back after Prince William slammed space tourism following the actor's flight to the edge of space. The 90-year-old became the oldest ever astronaut on October 13, the same day Duke of Cambridge urged the world's greatest brains to concentrate on repairing this planet, not trying to find the next place to go and live. But Captain Kirk star Shatner today said the Duke had got the wrong idea and his trip was actually the first of many baby steps to help shift polluters off Earth. I hope the prince gets the message, this is a baby step into the idea of getting industry up there, so that all those polluting industries, especially, for example, the industries that make electricity, off of Earth. Shatner wants to see energy companies building bases above Earth to preserve the planet. He said, we've got all the technology, the rockets, to send the things up there. You can build a base 250 or 280 miles above the earth and send that power down here, and they catch it, and they then use it, and it's there. All it needs is somebody as rich as Jeff Bezos, to say, let's go up there. Shatner added, the prince is missing the point. The point is these are the baby steps to show people, that, it's very practical. You can send somebody like me up into space. His comments are in response to William speaking out against the likes of billionaires Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk and Richard Branson who are locked in a bitter space race. The trio have been roundly criticized, including by the United Nations, for being hugely environmentally unfriendly. Prince William has slammed billionaire space tourists such as Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk for pursuing space travel instead of helping to solve the climate crisis. In an impassioned plea to two of the world's richest men, both worth around £150 billion each, the Duke of Cambridge said, we need some of the world's greatest brains and minds fixed on trying to repair this planet, not trying to find the next place to go and live. A new age space race between Amazon founder Bezos's Blue Origin and Tesla founder Musk has emerged pitting two of the world's richest and brainiest men against each other. In contrast, father of three William has said he is being motivated with his environmental work to use my little bit of influence to help change the world for future generations. The future king has created the Earthshot Prize, an ambitious global initiative to celebrate those working to repair the planet with a series of £1 million prizes over the next decade, which will have its inaugural awards on Sunday. He said, now I've got children as well and speaking to other parents you start to see the world differently. I want the things that I've enjoyed, the outdoor life, nature, the environment, I want that to be there for my children, and not just my children but everyone else's children. If we're not careful we're robbing from our children's future through what we do now. And I think that's not fair. I want to use my little bit of influence, profile to highlight incredible people doing incredible things and will genuinely help fix some of these problems. His comments, which will be broadcast today in an interview on the BBC Newscast podcast, come as Hollywood actor William Shatner yesterday became the oldest person to go to space. The 90-year-old, who played Captain James T. Kirk in the Star Trek films and TV series, took off from the Texas desert with three other individuals in a mission paid for by Bezos. It really is quite crucial to be focusing on this, planet, rather than giving up and heading out into space to try and think of solutions for the future. Hollywood star Shatner made history aboard Bezos' Blue Origin rocket, declaring, everybody in the world needs to see this. He flew 66.5 miles above the Earth's atmosphere during the 11-minute journey. The actor was part of a four-person crew who left the surface of the Earth to launch into low Earth orbit at about 11 a.m. Bezos was there to welcome the passengers back to the ground. Hello, astronauts. Welcome to Earth. He exclaimed. Bezos is said to have made more than $100 million in selling tickets to board his rocket. Million dollars in selling 